people are going to be talking about right now in human history for decades and maybe hundreds of years because right now is when China sort of woke up, not just economically, but to realize the implications of what they're doing. So after all of the, forgive me here, but the whining in the U.S. Congress, where Obama gets elected, after 20 years we didn't raise the cafe standards one iota. 20 years. All the technology changes you know, we could never raise cafe standards. Obama came in and said, I'm raising them from 25 miles per gallon to 39 miles per gallon. And the auto industry said, impossible, we can't get there. And Obama, and we finally compromised, okay, we will get there, but they have seven years to do it. In China, they said, hey, we got a problem here. We're going to raise our cafe standards to 42 miles per gallon. You can take as long as you want to get there, as long as it's done within 18 months or you're shut down. <laughs> By the way, you say, well, what the heck are they driving in China? I go, out, go there all the time. It's these brands called Buick. Anybody? Mercedes, a lot of Toyota, and Audi. They're driving the same things. But they do it because they're serious. We back off because of the oil and auto lobby. We should not accept that. Here's another one. Because of the extraordinary rate of pollution in China, again, it's largely coal-driven but auto's catching up. And in the US, because coal plants are so dirty, we permit about one a year. In China, they're doing about one a week. And it's so cheap, it employs so many people, it's hard to change. So what they've said is, they're gonna embark on the largest tree, uh, tree planting initiative in human history. Folks, this is not 150,000 acres, this is 150,000 miles square miles to be planted within the next 10 years. This is larger than the state of Montana. Almost exactly the same size as the state of California. So these people are serious. And the impact of what they're doing is helping the planet. 50% feed-in tariff for wind, a major one for solar. They will blow by, no pun intended, wind and solar to be the world's largest, not just manufacturer, but user of wind and solar. The rapidity of change there is stunning. Which brings me to this. Who recognizes this city? Los Angeles. Very good. We knew you never liked these people. No. Uh, it's the city where I was born. And what's so stunning here is, through the 1970s, when I was growing up, it's one of the most polluted cities in the country. Everybody knew it. Freeways everywhere, cars all over, hugely polluted, until, remember the first slide? Catalytic converters. Social, you know, virtual social upheaval. We changed it. Literally for the last 25, 30 years, the air in Los Angeles has been getting cleaner every year. Till about 2003. And then what happened? Asia. The ascendancy of Asia. 25% of the particulate matter, according to the EPA, over the West Coast, Los Angeles, comes from Asia. Uh, by the way, anybody think this is going to shrink? One power plant a week? China passed the U.S. last year as the world's largest auto, not manufacturer. These aren't just poor people making a little auto purchaser in the world. Stunning change, and it's coming our way. Hence, this is a global problem. Our whole lives, we're polluting like crazy. It goes over China, the acid, uh, over Canada, destroys their forests, goes over Europe. Who cares? We're creating the problem. Now, all of a sudden, we're on the receiving end. I would submit to you, people are going to care. By the way, China predicts 82 million lung-related deaths over the next 25 years. And if any of you have been there, you can see it. And now we're going to be uh, inhaling a piece of that. So let me leave you with this slide. Anybody know what the back of this is? It's an iPhone. And what I love here is it says, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. And what I want to suggest to you is it could say, designed in China. It manufactured maybe in California. I don't want that to happen. It changes your entire economy, our entire history 